Decay Smoky Palette. First look that I did was a little bit more of a warmer look using this palette because it is such a cool tone palette. I had seen a lot of looks very similar to this, but I did want to do another look just to show you what the palette is really about, like and the cool tone colors that you can get. So just two different looks using the palette. I know there are so many more looks that can be had from this palette. If you want to hear some of my original thoughts on the palette, whether I think it's worth it or not, I will leave that video linked down below. I don't really want to talk too long because I want this to be a really quick look, so we're just going to go ahead and get started. Stick around to see how I got this look. Okay, first I'm starting off with this base from Buxom. It's in the shade Pug. It's just like a slate almost taupey gray color. I thought it went really well with this palette and the cool tones in it. So I just put that in a thin layer all over my lid. Now I'm going to go into the Urban Decay Smoky Palette and I'm going to use the shade Combust which is a nice neutral brown shade. It's actually a little bit darker than it appears when you put it in the crease as a transition. So I'm just going to put this in the crease and I'm using a Sigma E25 brush and just pile that on into the crease as our transition transition shade and then I'm going to go into the lid shade. I'm using the color Armor and I'm packing this on with my finger. So I'm just going to go everywhere that I put down the original base and put that all over my lid with my finger. I really like the way that this applies with the finger and I'm taking a little break to sing a little Sam Smith. If you know what song that is, then let me know. <laughs> Okay, and I'm gonna go back in. Sometimes I can't help myself. I swear I just like get caught up. So there you go. Um, I'm gonna mix Dagger and Slanted together and I'm just going to, again, using another E25 brush, put that on the outer corner and then bring it into the inner corner. So I'm putting this all through my crease and into the inner corner. So we're kind of making it dark in the inner corner as well, but I'm concentrating mainly on the outer corner for the most darkness. I used a clean brush and cleaned up right there. And then I'm using the matte cream shade in the palette. This is called 13 and just applying this under the brow bone. And then I went back in and used that brush, which is just a clean blending brush and just smoothed everything out. I'm using the colors Smolder and Dagger together on an Sigma E45 brush and I'm just starting to darken up the outer corner and then I do go ahead and put this on the inner corner as well but just make a nice triangle shape and then drag it in and connect it to the inner corner and then I'm mainly putting a lot of it in the outer corner and in the inner corner and keeping it the darkest there and then just connecting it in the middle. I really like these two colors mixed together. They make a nice, really smoky look, and I like the little hint of purple. Then I went back in with that clean brush and just kind of blended everything out so it all kind of faded together. You can go back in and touch up places if you need. I'm using the color High and spraying Fix Plus on it to really intensify it, and I just went ahead and packed that all over that armor shade just to really give it a metallic feel. This shade is extremely pigmented, when you get it wet, it like even is more pigmented and intensifies it so much. So I just blended that out and then I used a little bit of armor and I went and touched up and then back with the E45 brush, nothing on it, but I just wanted to touch up the inner and outer corner. Clean up everything under your eyes after you're done with this because I got a little bit of fallout, so I just used a makeup wipe to do that. Then I'm going to go in for my liquid liner. I'm using Ardency in Modster Liquid Liner. I really like this liner. It's very, very black and it's kind of like a shorter felt tip liner. So I just stayed really close to the lash line and just did a slight wing out, whatever you're comfortable with. For my lashes, I went in with Maybelline Colossal Volume Express on my upper lashes and then later I went in with the MAC on my lower lashes. But here I'm just applying one coat of mascara before I went in with lashes. 
I tried out these Coco Lashes in Ariel, which are what I'm applying here. I really like these. I wasn't a fan of the Coco Lashes in Goddess, but these really worked well for me. I just used House of Lashes glue to apply these, and I really liked them. They were nice and fluffy. For my foundations, I mixed together L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte and Too Faced Born this way. I really like the combination of these two for some full coverage and I used a beauty blender to apply that. And then for my bronzer, I've been loving the Giorgio Armani Maestro Liquid Summer and I'm just using this Sigma brush to apply it. Oh, it just is so beautiful so I just kind of blend that. It's a cream bronzer. I put a little bit on the back of my hand and then just went and kind of subtly contoured with it. For my concealer, I'm using MAC Pro Longwear Concealer in NW15. This is a little bit bright for right now. It's it's a color that I mainly use in the winter time when I'm the most pale, but it was what I grabbed. But uh, if you use NW20, it's a little bit, if you have my um, fair skin, it's a little bit better. But I just put that under my eyes and then I went and set it with the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder and Diffuse Light. Just go ahead and set under the eyes. And then for my bronzer on top of the Liquid Summer, I've been loving using the Laura Mercier Ritual Bronzer Blush. This just gives a really nice warm blushy bronze shade. So I went in and bronzed up all over my face using this. And for my cheeks, since we did a cool tone look, I wanted to go with a cool tone um, blush color. So I use Clinique's Blush Pop in Pansy Pop. I love this color. It's just such a beautiful pink shade. For my highlight, I use Laura Mercier Baked Matte Radiance Highlight and a Wayne Goss. I believe this is the number two brush. Such a nice brush set. I do have a full review on those brushes if you're interested. For my eyeliner, I'm using the Dual Ended Urban Decay Liner, the 24-7 one. I'm using the shade Pistol. I really like this shade because it's like a taupey silver color. So I just put that under my lash line and I went in with my inner corners. I know this is a little backwards, but I put high on my inner corners. And then under my lash line, I dragged the shade Armor on a Sephora pencil smudge brush. I love this brush to do under eye work so it's definitely a must have. I'm putting on a little bit of mascara from MAC and then for my lip combination I use Sephora Candid Candy Nano Liner, the new Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick in Requiem and a Natasha Denona Lip Glaze in the shade 02 Rosy Lilac. I love the combination. So that makes the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe and I'll see you all in the next video.